So I'm sitting here with Professor Jack Klotz of the School of Media and Communications. At Temple Wait, University. School yeah. of, I did Media that right. Media and Communications. Very good, at Temple <laughs> University. And I'm here with Michael Tan. Michael, thanks for joining us. This oh, is the first time we've ever me. met. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So a little bit about why we're here. Uh, the School of Communications and Media and Communications. Media and um, Communications. Thank you. <laughs> um, you have a great setup here. This is a sure. beautiful recording studio with, with fantastic mm -hmm. equipment. In the other room, I was just sitting in the other room. It's beautiful. Uh, thank you so much. Congratulations. Yeah. Cheers, thanks. So tell me a little bit about the program here and why you needed to spend money on all of that equipment and on a beautiful piano. Well, the, the first question we usually get is why we have a recording program in the communication school, not necessarily in the music school. Right. And I'll throw two quick facts at you. Uh, first, the decade during which the music industry was seeing 10% per year declines in revenue, mm -hmm. during that same period, the gaming industry was seeing 300% per mm -hmm. year increases. And I wanted, it was earlier this year or late last year, the latest version of uh, Candy Crush, Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. has an orchestral score and the orchestral score was recorded in Studio One at Abbey Road performed no by the wow. LSO yeah wow <laughs> candy crush God. right yeah so what we've been finding during those 10 years of what I like to call transition in the recording industry what we've been finding is that really one of the best paths to a healthy future for this business mm -hmm. is more interfacing with other media because you know games television film radio they all use our product where the end consumer isn't really buying it so much anymore right and so we're here to kind of be that bridge between composers and performers and the media i understand just to bring a little bit to that, Joe Tarsha, who founded oh, Sigma yeah. Sound. My old boss, yeah. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. All right, well, I've gotten to know Joe Tarsha very well. Ah. Uh, the piano that was used in Studio A, that mm. Billy Joel did that live mm -hmm. simulcast on in 1973, um, and just about every artist that was there oh, that yeah. used that piano. Yeah, gorgeous piano. Um, we had that piano in our stock. And we donated it to the Musicians Hall of Fame in Nashville, oh, wow. and Fantastic. yeah, so it's down there now. Yeah, so um, I got to know Joe pretty well, and uh, still stay in contact with him. But here's why I brought him up. Yeah, um, I asked Joe, so you know, you must be a musician. He said, "Well, not really. Yeah. No, I, but he's got a set of ears. He's got ears, right? And uh, golden ears. <laughs> no question about it. Yeah. He brought things to the industry that nobody else had at that yeah. point. But uh, the point well taken. So to be a great producer to produce mm -hmm. a recording you don't necessarily have to be a musician you don't have to be a yeah. performer and sometimes it can help sometimes yeah. it can help i mean to, to at least speak the language a little bit but you can speak the language without necessarily being able to perform yeah. right yeah. so why an acoustic piano well because you can't mic a synthesizer right. <laughs> <laughs> bottom line i mean if if we want our students and we do we want our students to be very well prepared and well versed uh, there's only one way to learn how to mic up a piano, and that's mm -hmm. to have a piano to mic up. And if you want a good sounding uh, recording, you got to have a good sounding piano. And that's, that's why right. we came to you. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> now, you didn't have in your uh, in your budget room for a Bussendorfer, room for a Fazioli, room for a Steinway, room for it, that you certainly needed to choose something that was. A little less expensive. Yeah, we are a state-funded school. Yes. Right. <laughs> but you told me a story earlier. You played about, what, half a dozen different name yeah. brands that good, are... Yeah. Good number. Mm -hmm. yeah, and I, I mean, I, I don't play. I mean, I, I could. It would hurt everyone's ears if I tried. <laughs> uh, but I brought a buddy along who, who's a player, and uh, we looked and listened at a bunch of them. And as we went around the showroom, he'd play one, and how's it play? Yeah, he'd listen to the sound. Yeah, it's okay. We could live with that. He'd go to the next one. Yeah, it's okay. We could live with that. Boom, boom, boom. And we hit this one, this very model. And uh, it, as, as we say in pop music, it popped. Mm -hmm. It just kind of, ooh, you know, our ears both part. I don't think he played more than five or six notes. We went, it plays better than the other ones. And I'm listening, sounds great, you know. Right. So, um, and one of the things I'll, t I'll tell you specifically about this piano, a couple things I really, really like about it. For a baby, and it's a 5'10. 5'10, that's right. Um, for a baby, the bottom end, and probably some of that is because it's 5'10". The left hand, the bottom end on is gorgeous, round oh, yeah. and warm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and the top mm -hmm. is nice and clean and crisp and pure. Um, and those are really great characteristics. And we got a couple yeah. pieces earlier <laughs> showing both sides off. 
So we're yeah. here with Michael. Yeah. T By the way, the music school for Temple University is right across the street. Yeah, we're it, close. Yes. Bridge. Yeah. It's a bridge. Yes. <laughs> um, and Michael, you just graduated with I a did. degree mm -hmm. in piano performance. Yep. Mm -hmm. And you studied with Mr. Wadeen, a yes. man I've known for a very long time. Oh, yeah. Um, and uh, so you have never played at Cunningham before this morning. I never have. No. Right. No. Yeah. So we're looking forward to seeing you explore the piano, play it a little bit, oh, and, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. and have a little fun. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I look forward to it. So yeah. let's let's play.
Michael. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, thank you. Oh, yeah, um, no, my pleasure. That's a, this is actually the first time I've heard you play. It, wait a minute. No, I think it is the first time I've heard you play. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Oh. Mm -hmm. Tell me your thoughts on the instrument. Um, just tell, yeah. tell me I, what you I, I really liked it. Like, it's... Um, I'd, I'd like the action. It's a lot better than um, some of the actions of things like Yamaha's Kawai's. I like that a lot, a lot more. And I particularly like the bass of this mm. particular, of this this one. Like it's got a really nice tone to it. Yeah, but yeah, I, I, I like this instrument a lot. Great. Well, you know, I thank you for coming in and playing for us. Uh, I think the playing that everyone here has just heard mm. kind of speaks for itself. Yeah. Uh, I really thank you, and it was great mm. to get to know you. Do you have any comments? No, it was a joy to watch what you could bring out of the instrument as well, mm -hmm. as you sat on it and you know felt it out, and you brought some colors and, and textures <laughs> out of it that uh, were were a joy to hear. They oh. really were. Thank one you, thing, <laughs> one thing I want to share, um, knowing that you were going to use this principally for commercial use, yeah. the piano was prepared brighter yeah. than we, and I told you that before yeah. you even played it, mm -hmm. yeah. it's prepared brighter than we would normally prepare Cunningham, say, for a living room yeah. or for the professors of music in the Philadelphia area who already own these. Yeah. Um, but you brought warmth out of this instrument, mm -hmm. so it was there. <laughs> you just coaxed it out, and uh, yeah, it thank really you again. Uh, thank yeah. you. Awesome. Well, hopefully we'll do this again. Oh, thank yep. you for coming. Oh, thank you very much for having Jack, me. Jack, thanks thank for you. having us. Thanks, thanks for, for choosing. Thanks for being here. And thanks for having the confidence in our piano. No doubt.